Hey God, uh, thank you so much for marriage. Uh, we believe that this is one of the greatest gifts that you've given us, uh, and love is such a wonderful thing. God, we thank you that we get to celebrate it with friends and family and with just so much joy in one room. Because I remembered a quote from Frederick Beekner, <laughs> and he said this, a marriage made in heaven is one where we become more richly ourselves than we would have been if we hadn't met that person. Think about that. You become even a better yourself than you would have if you wouldn't have met this person. Melissa's had me wrapped around her finger since the moment she was born. <laughs> and um, Beth knew it. When uh, Melissa was very young and I was working late at the office, Beth would have Melissa call because she knew if Melissa called, I'd come right home. She was right. <laughs> When, you know, it seems like John's been a part of our family for such a long time, and he really has. But um, I remember the first time that Melissa brought him over for a family dinner. He was so quiet and so shy that, I mean, I don't even recognize that guy anymore. But he was so quiet and so shy, and he had, I can only imagine what he was thinking with the volley of conversation going across the table in 15 different directions at the same time. But, you know, he, he played along, he kept coming back. It, it's a, so, uh, especially surprising because uh, my sons, Mark and Eric, really enjoyed the opportunity to embarrass both him and their older sister um, by starting some strange conversations and throwing out some really weird questions. But he, he endured it really well. He did a good job and he kept coming back. so different than I expected. It is. Well, I guess not. <laughs> it's really pretty. Then came the night when John came to the house to ask Beth and I for um, Melissa's hand in marriage. It was a really easy decision. John had shown us over a long period of time who he was. And he was reliable, and he was honest, and he was hardworking, and he was patient, and he was kind, and it was very obvious that he loved Melissa very much. So John's been an unofficial member of our family for a long time. But today we make it official. John, welcome to the circle. One of the things that you uh, mentioned frequently in the context of uh, how you want your relationship to be seen is you used kind of the metaphor of team. And you want to be a good team, you want to, and I thought, well, team's a great metaphor in the sense that uh, you don't want the players to be exactly alike. In fact, what the players have to be doing is that they have to be complementary to one another, and they have to actually be able to allow to use their best gifts and their best skills for the best outcome. Melissa, I never would have guessed this day would come when we first met almost nine years ago. I am sure that the future will have many more surprises in store for us, and I feel blessed to have you as my teammate, companion, and partner in crime. I promise to bring a smile and a sense of humor to any challenges that come our way. We are all a little bit weird in this world. Thank you for being my kind of weird and sharing in this crazy little thing called love. John, there is a quote that goes, <laughs> it's amazing how one day someone walks into your life and suddenly you can't remember how you lived without them. When I think of you, nothing is more true. <laughs> you are a constant reminder that the most precious things can sometimes be found in the most unexpected of places. <laughs> you are my reassuring voice, my encourager, and my very best friend. I promise to continue to keep your life interesting, <laughs> to lift you up, to care for you, and to be on your team every day for the rest of my life.
And as I look at you tonight, Melissa, your mom and I couldn't be more proud of you. You're a beautiful bride. You're a wonderful daughter. You're so dedicated to our family. You love our family. You fiercely protect our traditions. You're, you've got a huge heart for all of your friends. You love everybody and every animal. Well, the cat thing is a little over the top. But other, other than that, uh, you know, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty good. Um, well, I know that uh, John is uh, the new man in your life. I hope you know that, um, just like the old days, if you call, I'll come home. Melissa, I can't say enough about how excited I am that John ended up with such a special, thoughtful, and sincere person. I really mean it when I say that I think you bring out the best in John. They say that marriage isn't about finding someone you can live with, but about finding someone you can't live without. And it's clear to me that the two of you have really done that. Eventually, kind of had this revelation. I went over to our apartment one day and John was over and we knew John. We hung out with him a few times, but I didn't really understand his like domestic skill set. So he was in the kitchen cooking a dinner and not like spaghetti with like bread or anything. It was like a gourmet meal with like marinades on the meat and garnishes and like a bunch of side dishes. And he was standing there like talking about like making sarcastic jokes at all of our expense and like talking about even like saving money, maybe couponing. And at that moment, I really realized, wow, Melissa has found my replacement. She's gonna be great.